Hello, good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer from the churches in Canton, part of the ministry area of West Cardiff. Um, those of you who listened or watched on Monday will be expecting me this morning. Uh, I'm standing in for Ruth again. Um, I've been in touch with Ruth. She's getting much better. Her chest is still a bit tight, um, but she's well on the road to recovery. And she's asked me to say a big thank you to you all for your kind words and your prayers over the last week or so. Um, today, Wednesday the 8th of June, let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is uh, Psalm 119, which is a very long one. So it starts at verse 153. Look on my misery and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked. For they do not seek your statutes. Great is your mercy, O Lord. Give me life according to your justice. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not swerve from your decrees. I look at the faithless with disgust, because they do not keep your commandment, commands. Consider how I love your precepts. Preserve my life according to your steadfast love. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous ordinances endures forever. Princes, persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous ordinances. Great peace have those who love your law, nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I fulfil your commandments. My soul keeps your decrees, I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord, give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips will pour forth praise, because you teach me your statutes. My tongue will sing of your promise, for all your commands are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live, that I may praise you, and let your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek out your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Amen. Righteous Lord, we ask you to make your face shine upon us, that as we yearn for you, we may know you ever close at hand, and rejoice in the life that you give through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The New Testament reading today is Luke chapter 9, verses 37 to 50. On the next day, when they had come down from the mountain, a great crowd met him. Just then, a man from the crowd shouted, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child. Suddenly, a spirit seizes him, and all at once he shrieks. It throws him into convulsions until he foams at the mouth. It mauls him and will scarcely leave him. I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Jesus answered, You faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy, 
and gave him back to his father. And all were astounded at the greatness of God. While everyone was amazed at all that he was doing, he said to his disciples, let these words sink into your ears. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was concealed from them so that they could not perceive it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. An argument arose between them as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side and said to them, Whomever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among you is the greatest. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you. Here ends the lesson. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Let us pray to the bidding, Lord, in your mercy. The response is, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pray for peace, justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith, love and service. We pray for June, our bishop and the life of the Cardiff West Ministry area. We give thanks for the gift of your word, the grace of the sacraments, and the fellowship of your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our local community, for all peoples in their daily life and work. We pray for the young and elderly, for families, and all who are alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in need, for the sick, sorrowful, bereaved, and those who have died. We pray for all who bring comfort, care, and healing. And in the stillness of our hearts, we remember those names dear to us and those who need your blessing at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Heavenly Father, you have promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, that when we gather in his name and pray according to his mind, he will be among us and hear our prayer. In your love and mercy, fulfil our desires and give us your greatest gift, which is to know you, the only true God, and your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope that you all have a fantastic day and I know that you all continue to wish Ruth a speedy recovery and I hope and pray that she will be back with us next week. Until then, take care, God bless and goodbye.